Do you know your rights? Learn the law with us. Know your rights. Listen, ask, learn. Yes, this is your chance to educate yourself, empower yourself, and educate your community. Join with us today. Know your rights. Dear friends, we are very excited to announce to you that from today onwards, Know Your Rights will bring you a series of discussions on intellectual property rights. So when we think about intellectual property, we always think it's for these big corporations. If you look at a company like Coca-Cola, which has a market value around $196 billion, but then if you look at their balance sheet, actual tangible assets would be about $66 billion, whereas their intangibles are at around $22 billion, which are protected by intellectual property rights. But don't think it's only for these big businesses and it's not for me as a prop writer or a budding entrepreneur or an artist or a creative person or simply as an individual with ideas. But you're wrong there. Big or small, a company's value is based on their IP and even if you don't have a company but simply have an idea, you can still protect it so somebody won't copy it. So this program, which is a series of a first, is going to revolutionize your thinking and we are going to help you figure out what your intellectual property is and how you can eventually own it without losing it to somebody else. Joining with me today is Dr. Nishanta Sampat Puncheheva, Senior Lecturer at Faculty of Law, University of Colombo. He specializes in intellectual property and competition law and holds a PhD in law from the Ludbeck Maximilians University of Munich, Germany. He is also an attorney at law of the Supreme Court of Sri Lanka. Currently he is serving as a member of the Intellectual Property Advisory Commission of Sri Lanka. Welcome to Know Your Rights, Dr. Punchihewa. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, You're welcome. So let's start uh, first with getting to know what exactly is intellectual property? A uh, very good topic that you have started with. I would say that intellectual property concerns everybody, everybody of us. Intellectual property protects the finest creations of human mind. New ideas, inventions are protected by IP law, intellectual property law. Yes. So what are the different types of intellectual law? Intell yeah, intellectual property uh, can be divided of course very traditionally into two main parts. One is uh, copyright and the other one is industrial property. Copyright consists of co author's right and neighboring rights, rights neighboring on copyright. Okay. Industrial property okay. um, consists of um, patents, designs, trademarks, in this, uh, uh, geographical indications, trade secrets, okay. new plant varieties, etc. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me what is the need for intellectual property? Because I don't think this is uh, something that we discussed like long time back. So, this is fairly a new concept. So, what is the need for intellectual property? Of course, of course uh, uh, perhaps the intellectual property law and the concept of intellectual property is not new because the, it was born in the 19th century, maybe towards the latter part of the 19th century. Uh, but intellectual property was, was, like, was uh, very much um, in, uh, concentrated about uh, in the 20th century okay. because today without creativity, without innovation, mm -hmm. no country in the world can survive. So the major, all major or leading economies in the world are more concentrating on IP rights than anything else because in the today's context, tangible assets like buildings, yeah. machinery yeah. and other infrastructure yeah. becoming 
less value less valuable and uh, intellectual property the the assets of the mind yeah. is becoming uh, more yeah. important because the world is moving from uh, from uh, technology driven economy towards innovation driven economy yes. so the, uh, the richest person you would have in the in the tw early 20th century you you would have found in the uh, oil rich countries but today it's going to be knowledge worker so 21st century is governed by innovation right. that is why the topic of intellectual property has become so important in every country in the world Okay. So as an average person, uh, let's say like, like me or some of our, our uh, listeners, uh, how would it matter to them? How, how does intellectual uh, property matter yes. to an average person? Of course, this is a very good question. Every person, if you write a book, if you write, a, if you compose a poem, and I have a new idea how to solve the problem of, uh, of, uh, of, traffic jam yeah. then I, I want to find a new solution to a disease that has never found any solution that has that has no cure been ever found so there are everything that we have our creativity involved in will be protected by IP rights it can be a trade secret you are you have uh, protected, preserve your trade secret from your father to uh, yes. your grandfather. I to to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. About so trade. everything. And when you open your business, you have to register your trademark. Otherwise, competitors in the market will yes. be imitating your products yes. and getting an advantage of of your products, yes. your goodwill. Yes. So uh, let's get in. You mentioned several um, intellectual property rights, several types. Uh, shall we begin with patents? Like, what is a patent? Like, in brief. Yeah, a patent uh, in the US it is called patents. Uh, we we generally call patents. Okay. Uh, patent is a is a is a right, an exclusive right given to an inventor for his invention for a period of 20 years from the date of filing the application. So, a patent is granted for an invention. Invention is a solution to a specific problem in the field of technology, right? And uh, if you have any solution to a long felt need in the society, you, you have the entitlement to claim for a patent right for 20 years this is granted by the National Intellectual Property Office of so Sri Lanka. So what it is that it will help them to protect whatever their creations. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Protection of your innovative ideas okay. can be protected by patents. Right. Okay. And how about copyrights? Copyright is uh, the oldest right that we all yeah. know. Yes. It can uh, you can trace uh, its uh, its roots even uh, in the medieval and even before that. So if you if you create okay. um, maybe a piece of work in the form of a novel or maybe a book, it may be a song, it may be a dance, a music, a piece of music. Yeah. Everything in the field of literary and artistic domain right. uh, can be protected by, the creativity can be protected by copyright. Right. Okay. Uh, how about trademarks? Trademark is very important for the business community. This is the best IP tool that we can use in your day-to-day -day business. You design your brand. Brand is the one, is the tool that you market your products and services in the market. Take the dialogue, you know, Coca-Cola, yes. or maybe Sita Leper. Yes. Eh? All these things are the Sri Lankan brand. Sorry, uh, Siddhalepa is a Sri Lankan brand, Coca Cola is the US brand, yes. and then the Dialogue is a Malaysian brand. Yes. Whatever. Anywhere in the world, Melbourne, Manchi, all these Sri Lankan brands. So we can protect your brand by way of trademark. By way. For trademark, okay. And you mentioned about trade secrets. Like, are there any criteria if you want yes. to protect trade your secrets? Trade secrets are the most used industrial property that I know in the businesses because I, I have conducted a few research 
and then I found that uh, many, many, even uh, the software industry uh, is using uh, trade secret in a in a in a big way, or maybe the most used instrument, because trade secret can protect uh, the valuable information uh, as long as you can keep the secret secrecy okay. within your uh, circles. Okay. Is it similar to an NDA? Of course, non-disclosure agreement is a part of the trade secret strategy. Okay. So, trade secret is an information that has a that which is a secret that has a commercial value, and the owner of the secret has taken adequate steps okay. to protect the protect the secret from other okay. uh, business circles. Okay. Right? So it's it's there are, you can protect your trade secret by uh, by getting your employees okay. into signing non-disclosure uh, agreement or non-compete agreement. Okay. So this is a strategy. It can be also physical boundaries. You uh, you have physical uh, measures, yeah. security guards, or you can also build up uh, walls yeah. and you can have secret passwords yeah. and many things yeah. and the most important thing is to go for psychological contract that is oh, you okay. tell your employees if you reveal your trade secret our trade secret it is something everybody is losing and there will be repercussions yes. of course you will lose the market and you, are, you will lose the value of the secret yes. And um, finally, uh, can you tell me about the industrial designs? Yeah, yeah industrial design is a is a is a is a is the appearance of a product. It can be two dimensional, three dimensional. It can be a, uh, it can be a shoe. It can be clothes. It can be a handicraft. It can be maybe a jewelry, okay. woodwork design, architectural design, anything that gives special appearance to a product can be protected as a design. As a design. Yeah, it can be restaurant. Okay. Restaurant design of the interior design of a restaurant. Okay. Like in the US. Yes. So it can be protected. And we see many disputes but some copying others yeah, and there are very you similar. You might be thinking about this uh, uh, Apple Samsung uh, yes. design Samsung protection. Design, right. uh, yeah. Look and feel the even design. Even locally. Yeah, in, even in uh, locally yes. There may be new designs yes. and designs will, uh, will protect because innovation Today, the 21st century's emphasis is the design, uh, is the innovation, and design is going to be one of the main themes in this design protection. Okay, what are the existing laws related to intellectual property in Sri Lanka? Yeah, in Sri Lanka, uh, we have uh, Intellectual Property Act, number 36 of 2003, and we also have regulations made under the Intellectual Property Act, okay. and there is the uh, there is the uh, also you can see case law, okay. case law emanating from the Commercial High Court and also Superior Courts. Okay. So we have also not very like many many cases decided, but there are some uh, cases leading cases emanating from the uh, Superior Court courts of Sri Lanka. Okay. So that is also an, uh, another source that you can use in uh, in looking at the intellectual property. But for anybody, I'm talking about in a business way, any business can use, the, can, can create intellectual property, protect intellectual property, because you can create by using your mind. Yes. It can be creation or it can be an invention. Yes. And then you can also protect this intellectual property, intellectual assets I would say, yes. by using the Intellectual Property Act. And if you can get it enforced by, uh, by the courts, commercial high court is there. And most importantly, the management of intellectual property rights are uh, is important in this uh, competitive world because management of intellectual property also involves the commercialization. Okay. commercialization. Dr. Puncheva, at which point someone should be concerned about registering their uh, intellectual property? 
uh, yeah. At the start of yeah. the now, so when they, yeah. as soon as they get an idea? An excellent question that would benefit the uh, also the uh, business community. Because now if you want a trademark to be protected, when you have uh, thought about your new business, you can easily register your trademark. Yeah. And if you, copyright is not registered in Sri Lanka, and as long as, uh, as soon as you want to uh, protect your idea, you put it into writing. Okay. And you, you have the evidence of your um, existence, of your work. Work is protected. And uh, you have new idea to solve, new idea to find a solution to this disease. I want to find a new cure for dengue fever. So the idea, innovative idea, once you have conceived the idea, you should go and file your patent application. Design as, your, as soon as you have designed a new model, new de design, new work, new uh, piece of article, you should go and get it uh, protected in the uh, intellectual property office. Now, there is something that has trade been... secret. You have no, nothing to do with because it means you don't have formalities involved okay. in protecting. What you can do is yeah. you have to keep it secret. As long as you keep it secret, it will be protected forever. Coca-Cola, it's more than 200 years. The recipe, nobody can make Coca-Cola. Yes. So, Siddhalepa, yes. eh? the recipe, the, the, the formula yes. is protected yes. forever. Yes. As long as you can keep the secret as it is. Yes. Right? And something that I want to know is like, let's say that someone accidentally or unintentionally copies someone else's, um, let's say it could be a trademark or any, any intellectual property, then can you be sued and uh, what is the, what are the punishment in, in Sri Lanka? within yeah, the Yes, because intention is not material here. Uh -huh. Because if you copy, if you have copied somebody else's trademark and you paste that trademark on your goods, so it is the intention is there, accident. Uh, let's say that, okay. okay, something, he did not know the existence of it, that he created something, but then he finds out that it is similar, it's very similar, you know, or nearly accident, similar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a kind of a, maybe a, um, a question that uh, we need, without looking at the gravity of the copying, uh -huh. we should not, uh, I should, I should not be able, to, yeah, no, no, thing is that, if you have copied, uh, a patent. Right. Definitely, you, even though your intention is not there, you have copied. And then the owner of the patent uh -huh. will come behind you and uh, you will be sued in the Commercial High Court so of Sri Lanka. Who registered it first? Yes. So first come, first serve. Yeah. First in time. Not the one who had the idea first, but the one who registered it first. Sri Lanka, yeah. Uh, you, this question because uh, uh, the, the the law in the US because in Sri Lanka press to file first person to file will get the right in the US press to invent who has the best idea who had the best conception conception right okay. so that is that uh, but uh, of course uh, suppose that you have written a book right uh, but uh, then somebody else else has uh, written another book on the same theme that person can take any amount of ideas, but not the expression or your expression. He might have his own style, but he has oh, he has written on the same in the same way that you have written. So it's it's you can use any amount of ideas. In the, this famous case, uh, the uh, AC Alice versus Vasanto uh, Besekara. In that case, that even film case, the court the court of appeal very clearly stated that. It is this expression is protected, not the idea. So, if you take some ideas from some others, some others, some other work or the pre-existing work, you are not copying. But if you have taken the exact expression, then you will be infringing somebody else's rights. So you see, intellectual property is just not about protecting your rights, but also we can violate somebody else's intellectual property unintentionally and as a result can be sued. Also, it's just not Apple and Samsung who are arguing about this. It's in everybody's business and it has become part of our lives.
So make sure that you know what intellectual property is and be informed so that you can reap its benefits. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Punchaheva for giving us such a productive session today. Also, dear friends, let me remind you before wrapping up, because this is the first of this series on intellectual property, it was only an introductory session. We invite you to send any of your requests related to intellectual property so that we can directly address them in the coming sessions through the experts in this area. Remember, Know Your Rights is a community project, so you won't be charged for legal advice. Also, if you want to give feedback regarding this particular session or give your suggestions, you may email us at help at knowyourrights.lk or send us a Facebook message. We would be meeting you soon again and discussing more on this topic. I'm Rajivi Mahapalagama. Thanks for joining with us and stay tuned. For more information, visit us at www.knowyourrights.lk or visit our Facebook page, Know Your Rights SL, or email us, help at knowyourrights.lk.